I have been in the coffee industry for about 25 years, I'd say. Over that time, I probably made about 2 million cups of coffee, mostly in paper cups, uh, which I need to atone for. So this is my effort to live sustainably and try to make up for what I've done in the past but also to uh, try and create a template for the future of cafes because we are one of the most harmful um, businesses in Australia due to our waste. We are based on waste at the moment and it needs to stop. Uh, you can be solar powered, you can reduce your emissions, but the elephant in the room is paper cups. We can't keep going down that road. Uh, so, that's, so that's my mission is to create a place where people can come and see that it can be uh, a viable operation. Luckily for myself, uh, for me, I met a lady called Catherine Mahoney who helped um, with the ceramics at my shop, um, which is Pusher in Paddington. So we came up with the Archetype Cup, which is just basically a silicon lid clay cup um, based on a coffee cup, a traditional takeaway coffee cup, which I then incorporate into a thing called a cup bank. And the cup bank is basically our cups, clay cups are swap and go for customers and cafes to use, which are basically replacing paper cups. We opened in September 2020 in between lockdowns and we have not used 48,413 paper cups since we opened, which I think is a bit of a milestone. And the fact that we're still successful um, validates the, the journey we've been on. Overwhelmingly, the majority of people are um, positive about the idea. Most people, when given the facts, um, uh, do understand what we're doing and why they should probably jump on board. We've got a uh, juice supplier, Simon Says Juice in, in um, Darlinghurst, um, very environmentally minded. Um, he, we buy our juice off him um, once a week. Uh, those juice jars are then left with us and we upcycle them into takeaway containers for coffee. And they're in a rush, we offer those jars for one dollar deposit. One dollar on the jar is adding value and making them question what they're doing and maybe it will change their behavior down the track. Uh, every, every part of our business is based on um, reducing our waste. So we, although it's impossible, we, we try to minimize the amount of plastic that comes through the business. So we try to purchase in boxes rather than plastic bags. Uh, we even get our cheese in wax wraps rather than wrapped in plastic. So it's, it, it comes down to all these little decisions that help. Um, we compost all of our food waste. Um, we um, send our coffee grounds off to um, some pub, some uh, community gardens. So we've got um, Henley Gardens, which is near Gladesville. One of the things I'm most proud of is, rather than the 50,000 cups we haven't used, is um, each week we only throw out um, a garbage bag about that much of landfill. If we're going to affect change, it has to be on the local level. We, if, if, and if we all get together and we sort of Move in one, move as one. Then I think that we can affect change. You've got to believe in what you're doing first and foremost, um, and you've got to be all in on it because if you're not, you won't succeed. Trying to um, be sustainable and try to bring people along with you on the journey is very difficult at times. And you know there probably isn't a week where I don't question what I'm doing. And I think it's you know everyone goes through that. And I think if I think it's just to be human. Like we are a lightning rod for the community, better business is a lightning rod for businesses who want to be more sustainable. It just um, allows you to sort of know that you're part of a community. You're not on an island trying, you know, wading through this sea of waste. You know, there are other people out there in many different uh, areas of life trying to do the same thing. 